ages Looking at the world through magazine pages I heard a lot about the mountain And the Colorado rain Made this stop for personal reasons Didn't know it catch the changing of the seasons So winter dictates everything From frost to naked trees I'm about a mile high in Denver Where the rock meets Timberline I've walked this ground from town to town Just to finally call it mine We are at the entrance of Denver Relief this is one of the medical marijuana dispensaries of Colorado. This store sells marijuana for medical purposes only, but from January next year, they will sell marijuana for recreational purposes. Let's get in and see what they have inside. This is Denver Leaf Medical Marijuana Center. We have the medicine in flower form, edible form, concentrate form, topical form. Um, a patient that is registered with the state will come in and uh, a choose choose from our, our TV menu of our strains that we have listed and then uh, they will uh, they will ask for a jar we'll bring it down to them and show it to them there's no touching allowed so we'll use tongs and uh, microscopes if needed for them to get a closer inspection this is, this is our award-winning biodiesel it's a uh, it's a 50-50 uh, hybrid strain of cannabis, so it's uh, sativa and indica, um, and you can probably smell just that fuely smell that it has. It's almost like a rubbery um, tint to it on the exhale. As far as I know, the new re regulation on marijuana will come into effect soon, mm -hmm. next year. So how, how, it will, how it will change the marijuana scene in, in Colorado? I believe there are over 300 medical marijuana dispensaries in, in Colorado. We have 108,000 registered patients in Colorado right now. The uh, estimated numbers for next year are between 1.5 million and 3 million adult users. So we're looking at a significant increase in numbers and a large part of that will be due to the tourism and I think all the eyes around the world are on Colorado right now. Looking for the cloud with the styrofoam light and hoping that the sun will keep on shining leading me to distant peace that waits so patiently can you explain us what is Amendment 64? Sure, yeah, Amendment 64 uh, was a ballot initiative that passed last November in Colorado and it made the possession and home cultivation of marijuana legal for anyone 21 years of age or older and it also established a framework for setting up a regulated system of cultivation and distribution of marijuana. How does the law regulate the production of marijuana? Well, essentially, businesses will need to apply for licenses to have cultivation facilities, and they'll have to adhere to strict regulations, much like we would see with uh, businesses that are producing and distributing alcohol. Each plant has a, a tag on it with a barcode, and they track from seed to sale each plant. Need a little love to try some giving, try a little love and then start living. Things I feared so long ago and everything was wrong. October 1st, the city of Denver and the state itself uh, issued rules and regulations as, as to implementation. Localities now can provide licenses for people who want to get into the recreational industry. And January 1st, we'll have a happy new year and we'll have our first recreational marijuana uh, retail store open in the city of Denver as well as throughout the state of Colorado. For now, the only people who can get licenses to operate a retail store for all adults are people who currently have a license to sell medical marijuana. And that will be in place for the first year of operation. After October 1st of next year, uh, they will be deciding whether and how many additional stores and cultivation facilities will be allowed. The stores will be set up, they'll look very much like uh, liquor stores, shall we say. Um, the stores will only sell marijuana products, they won't sell other products like a, a liquor store might, I suppose. But they'll be open seven days a week, people will be able to go in and buy up to an ounce of marijuana. It's limited to one ounce since the possession limits are one ounce. Um, and in fact, people coming from out of state, one thing Colorado did was limit it to purchasing of only up to a quarter ounce if you're from outside the state to diminish the likelihood that someone might buy a lot and then go home with it and, and so on. We have uh, infused products in all different sorts of varieties. We have edibles. These are all chocolate bars. These are preloaded vaporizer cartridges. These are pills. Um, 
THC infused pills and CBD infused pills. These are drinks, like a punch. These are sublingual tinctures. So you would, it has an eyedropper in there. You would uh, shake this bottle up, fill the dropper up and then squirt it under your tongue. It's absorbed sublingually. We also have um, these vaporizer pens that we sell. These are another popular way to consume the cannabis or cannabis concentrate. This is one that you would load, load with your own concentrate. So you put your concentrate in there. Is it very high on THC? So this, the last time we tested it, tested at 88% THC. This tested at 95% THC. Wow. Yeah, whereas um, our flowers usually top out around 22% THC. How marijuana as a legal product will be taxed? What, what, what kind of tax you should pay for it? Well, uh, they're still proposing that, but uh, it's looking like it's going to be about 15% from the uh, cultivation to the medical marijuana center and then an additional 15% to the consumer. So you're looking at anywhere from 25 to 30%. Do you have any estimations how, how big is this market and how much tax revenue it will bring to the state of Colorado? Well, the official government estimates are that there will be maybe $400 million in sales uh, next year with that generating about 27 million for public school construction and then another upwards of 30 to 60 million which would go to enforcing the system as well as paying for public education programs, perhaps treatment and so on. I'm about a mile high in Denver where the rock meets Timberline I walk this ground from town to town tonight I'll call it mine the reaction of the, of the White House, of the federal government. We spent 10 months wondering how the federal government might respond to the initiatives in Colorado and Washington, and what was ultimately created was the Department of Justice uh, memo of August 29th, identifying eight specific points uh, where they say they don't want marijuana moving across state lines, they don't want marijuana in the hands of youth. So the Department of Justice in that memo acknowledged that regulated markets are probably the best way to get some control over the marijuana market. Are you planning to have similar initiatives in other states in the near future? The Marijuana Policy Project has identified about 10 to 12 states where we expect to support and pass laws similar to the Colorado and Washington laws over the next few years. Uh, about half of those would be through ballot initiatives and those would be states like Arizona, Nevada, uh, Massachusetts, Montana, California, and then through legislatures, which are mostly in the East Coast, uh, New Hampshire, Vermont, Maryland, uh, possibly even Delaware, Hawaii. Federal government pretty soon will have to make a move. I think we are reaching a tipping point. When almost 60% of your populace thinks that your policy is boneheaded and wrong, uh, you're going to have to make a change sooner or later.